I released a recent video looking into the amazing claims that we can scan below the pyramids at Giza. And what they saw is columns tracing down 600 meters into 80 meter cubes. So underground, this would totally rewrite ancient history and our understanding of the pyramids. Initially, I thought it was crazy. SAR can't look into anything underground more than a few meters. And then when I actually read the 2022 paper, I uh, changed my mind, totally blew my mind. And I've watched now the full four hour briefing that was the press release. I've gotten pushback after my video saying, how could you believe this shite? How could you believe it? If it's such amazing technology, why don't they show its use under cities, et cetera? And they did actually. So there are three examples that they give in the brief. So this is a quick update to show that these claims aren't crazy. So any experts out there saying that this is not possible, I think they're going to eat their words, actually, because it looks like it is legitimate. Now, what can they actually see under the pyramids? I'm not sure. Reading the raw returns is difficult on the press briefing, but the actual scan technology, what they're using, looks legitimate. So let's go through the examples that they highlight quickly. Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. So this is the four hour press release. I'm so happy it's the Italians. I love their delivery, it really is interesting. So it's in Italian, it hasn't been translated fully to English, but you have the auto translate uh, in English subtitles on YouTube. I'll let it play there so you can read the subtitles, but the first half of this briefing basically ex explains what I already explained in my first video, that they are using satellites to create very large apertures. So the faster that your source signal is traveling, now you're effectively making a very large synthetic radar, he says up to 80 kilometers across. I don't know if it's that large, but it, it is very large. So that allows extremely accurate precision of Doppler. And they're using the Italian-based satellite constellation CMOS SkyMed is what it is putting out SAR in different frequencies he quotes 9.375 gigahertz so very close to what we used in the fighter world and now they claim that based on this very large aperture they can get Doppler shift so they can actually see the signals that are coming back are slightly shifted due to vibrations in the ground he talks about phonics that's what they talk about is this is a SAR phonic technology. So related to sound, they're able to actually listen using very high accuracy SAR radar. And so what does that give is it gives detailed underground maps. So they're able to actually see into the pyramid. This is from 2022. And this is really the report that that blew my mind. And what's interesting is they were actually able to come up with this interior structure okay, that matches the same results of a recent scan pyramids that was using a muon detectors. If you remember that, it was using muons, this guy. And so he says, he says, I'm glad this guy validated um, our results. So basically, scan pyramid using muons versus Doppler tomography validated uh, the results from their 2022 paper. So basically validating this technique. And that's what he's talking about here, this famous corridor that they didn't know about. And it looks like there's another large corridor inside uh, the Great Pyramid. So that's the Khufu Pyramid, which is different from Khafre Pyramid. Okay, and then now let's get to the next example. So Gran Sasso d'Italia is the largest underground physics laboratory in the world. It's 1,400 meters underground. And that's in Italy, so I think that's why they used it as an example. It's on their national land, and it's a neutrino detection facility, among other science that goes on there. And how's that working out? How's your neutrino detections going? But it's under 1,400 meters of rock. And remember, they're claiming under Kafra is only 600 meters. So this is 1,400 meters from the apex. And what they note here is they can actually scan inside and see the tunnels it'll it'll zoom here in a second but it can actually see the tunnels 
using their technique. And so this is 1400 meters from the top. I'm not exactly sure the slant range into here. My guess is it's less than 1400 meters. And he makes a joke here about he likes the shape. <laughs> he likes the shape of the, of the mountains. Um, it says, I would say it borders on Bazinga. I uh, love the Italian. I'm so glad the Italians came up with this. Just makes it so much more interesting and fun. So what he's saying here is basically they're able to see the tunnels underneath. You see, so this is the tunnel structures. And they can see the tunnel structure inside. And that's 1,400 meters of rock from the top. So that is pretty amazing. And you can see right there, that is a example. So people asked, you know, how can you believe this? Where are the examples? And you can look at their examples. And I think we'll be able to test this in the future. So I think this story will have legs. I think they're going to be able to get even more data of whatever is underneath the Khafre pyramid and other pyramids, pretty much any, anything around the world. I think it probably helps that it's all limestone under a Giza pyramid. And it probably helps that this is all rock. You know, if you go to other pyramids around the world or it's vegetation or different types of soils or different ground, then uh, may be an issue. Then he gets to his third example here, which is the dam at Mosul. So this is a famous, very large dam. And so what they want to understand is, is it possible to look inside the dam? And so basically they're able to do the same thing. They'll show the examples here but there's a big underground valley underneath the dam. And he says there's an important Italian company working there. So Trevi Italian pride. Okay. So inside is the gallery of the services. And so they did their same technique. And basically what they're able to find is using their tomography technique is they're able to break out uh, the known structure inside of the dam. Okay. So, the dam is definitely stopping your SAR technology. If it's concrete, it's definitely stopping your radar energy at 9.375 gigahertz. Okay, you should only get a meter of penetration. But what they're able to show here is they can show the actual turbine. So they have this, the actual turbine structure uh, built into the dam. So essentially, they're able to see into the dam. So that's just amazing to me. So that is three examples right there. They talk about the additional corridor that they found and was validated, uh, I believe the end of 2024 by scanned pyramids using muon detection devices that took, I believe two years. And then they had the, then they had the Grand Sosa neutrino physics laboratory, right? Deep underground to try and keep it out of any sort of electromagnetic interference keep it isolated. That's why they have that deep underground inside that mountain. So they put it as deep as they could. And they were able to map the tunnels that were part of that physics facility. And then you see here, the actual dam. And so that was the dam at Mosul. So pretty amazing. They give even more examples. This is Traforio del San Gotardo. And so they're able to actually look into other tunnels. So they had even more examples, but those were the biggest ones that stood out to me is those three examples. So that was just three examples and you saw there's more actually. So they had a fourth example of tunnels under a mountain. It looks like this technique is valid and will be amazing. My guess, and again, this is speculation and I don't speak on behalf of any government this is my own opinions. I was never read into any of this space technology, et cetera. My guess is um, the military is most likely already using this technology and knows about it. You know, it'd be extremely beneficial to use this to find underground bunkers, et cetera, of our adversaries. And now the question is what's going to happen now that all of our underground facilities can be SAR tomographied can actually be analyzed and now anyone can really see with a satellite overhead, which you can fly a satellite over any place on earth, essentially it's free reign. Now we'll have very good idea of what's under the ground. This could also change geology, could change all your oil, mineral deposits, investigations. So pretty amazing. It's going to be a breakthrough for sure, because there's just so much value in this technique. 
if it is legitimate, I, I believe it is, it looks like it is legitimate, then it's going to have legs. The story is going to have legs. So all those people that came out initially and said, oh, these people are idiots for looking into this. I think they're going to have to eat their words <laughs> and say that they're wrong and that uh, maybe they should listen to alternate physics ideas, alternate ideas, maybe admit that they don't know everything, right? And we're going to have new advances. We obviously don't know more than we know about the universe. So thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe for more updates on this amazing story. I went through the pyramids. I went through all the sites in Egypt, most of them, and I learned an amazing amount. The biggest thing I realized is that they were well integrated with the stars and the planets, and they seemed to know the cycles of the universe, and it seemed to be somehow related to consciousness or you know, the spiritual world. They were way more spiritual, I think, than our modern society. So it'll really be interesting what happens with this story on the pyramids. I'll be following it for sure. So make sure to subscribe to get more updates. And you can always support on patreon.com forward slash Chris Lido. Thank you so much to all my patrons. And by getting cool merch, hope you like the merch. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.